Hi, I'm Dawn Osborne. Welcome to the Inner Tidal. I am a marine ecologist and I study this inner tidal zone, the zone where the land, the sea, and the air all meet. It's a unique environment because the organisms here have to survive waves coming in and crashing, fresh water when it rains, and the creatures that live here have special adaptations. So this is a black turban snail. And here you can see one actually holding on to a rock. So one of the adaptations that this snail has is it has a really muscular foot that once it's holding on to a rock, no wave will be able to move it. If I try to pull it a little bit, it's stuck down there. And these are limpets. And they're also a, sh a snail with a hard shell. And there's many different kinds in the inner tidal. There's flat ones, there's ones with points. Oh, so this is a chitin. This is a, an animal that has plates instead of a shell. So there are eight plates right here. And they kind of fit together like a shell or like a backbone almost, but it is an invertebrate. And around this outside is a mantle or the soft part of a snail. And then underneath, they also have a very muscular foot that can hold onto a rock. So I could never move this creature off this rock. It's holding on. So at a low tide, this chitin can be exposed and can survive being out of the water for several hours. And at a high tide, it gets covered with water and will start moving again on the rocks, scraping off the algae as it moves. In the intertidal zone, we have high tides and low tides. So the moon and the sun work together to create a high and low tide. And in California, we have two highs and two lows every 24 hours. 